hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again this is tech pba so in this video tutorial we're going to look at some easy simple ways to improve the speed of your windows 10 your windows 11 pcs so we're going to t i'm going to take you through some steps you can take to to make your your computer your pcs or windows 10 windows 11 pcs run faster than before so the first thing we're going to do is to look at a utility called a cleanup or the disk cleanup utility you can search for it in the search box by typing clean in the search box and then you can go ahead on the in the resulting um, items you click on click on the disk cleanup so this window will pop up with um, the various um, options, the various items in there. You can actually click on one to read about it. So with the downloaded program files, you can see the description down there. And then the amount of space it's taken on the, the disk C. So just like, like I said, you can click on every item over there and then view the descriptions and then the size of the space the size of this space they have taken on the C drive so you can let's go ahead and then select all the items over there since we are going to clear everything from this PC these are temporary files used by the operating system used by programs on the PC but they are temporary so we can we'll go ahead and click on the OK button and then click on the delete files to delete everything in there. So as you can see, the deletion is going on. It's cleaning up drive C. The window, the small window will close by itself once the deletion is done. So that is that for the first step. On the next step, we're going to open the run dialog box by pressing the windows key and r at the same time or we can search for it in the search box by typing run and then we'll go ahead and click on the run to open the run dialog box so what we're going to do is to go into the temporary folder um, when I tried it the first time, I, I I only typed the temp, the temp, the T E M P, and it didn't open the folder. So if it doesn't, when you type the temp and it doesn't open for you, you can also you can, you should add the percentage sign before and after that word, and then it will open the temp folder for you, just like we are looking at now. So I'll go ahead and then select every item in the temp folder. These are temporary files, and then I will press the shift delete. To want to delete everything in that folder in that temporary folder permanently so once I press the shift delete I'll click on the yes to delete everything I'll select the do this for all current items and then click continue this should get rid of all the items in the temp folder but in my case there were some newer um, files, newer temporary files that the operating system, some applications might be using at the time this video was made. So it couldn't delete everything. But in your case, it may delete everything in the temp folder. So I will leave it as it is and then we'll continue. It actually got rid of a lot, most of the temporary folders and files, so I think I'm good to go. And then the next thing to do is to, we are going to look at the startup items. I will right click on the taskbar and then select the task manager. So when Windows is starting up, there are some applications that starts up with it. So in the task manager, I will click on the startup tab startup tab and then you can view all these applications that starts with the operating system once it's starts up so we can see um, some programs over here you can 
click on the program select the program and click on the disable option down there so I disabled a couple of them and then well once disabled when the operating system starts up these applications will not start up with it and so you you, you realize that once you reboot your system you realize that your system will start up faster than it used to because you wouldn't have to load or start up with these applications so your startup and then the, the running of your PC will become faster and then smoother so we can also view the services if you are if you are somebody who is technical with the Windows operating system services you can view which ones you, you need running and which ones you need stopping and then you can go ahead and stop the ones you don't need running but mine I will leave it just as it is and then we will continue with the other procedures or the other items once one more glance in the startup applications and then I'll go ahead and cl close the task manager the next thing we are looking at is the is that we are going to uninstall rogue applications so I'll right I'll click or I'll tap or I'll press the Windows key R and then to open the run dialog box and then I will type appways.cpl which will bring up the add and remove programs it's actually the shortcuts to open the add and remove programs so I'll go through the applications and look at which application I recently installed that is causing my 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 PC run slowly so in this case um, I'm going to select the cyber ghost application and then I will install uninstall it from this PC but in your case it, it, it may or might be a, a different application that will cause your PC to run slowly so go through your add and remove programs look through them see which application you installed recently or installed itself recently that could be causing your PC to become slow all the time and then just remove it from your PC and your PC should do better that it should run faster than before and then the next thing is we are going to scan our PC with a tool called anti or malware bytes anti malware malware I'll go ahead and search for it in the Google search and then I'll select the first link right click on it open it in a new tab then I'll go to that tab and then on the website I'll scroll down and then select the download now button to download the application so once the application downloads I'll go into the download area click on it to install the application malware bytes anti malware this will actually um, scan our system to detect malware viruses threats any kind of threats on this uh, PC and then remove them from from the PC so as you can see the application is installing just give it some time to complete the installation and then uh, we, I'm going to click on the open malware bytes to open the application I'll click on the get started and then I'll select the maybe later option and I'll select get started again and over here I'll select the scan option in the middle for it to scan this system this uh, Windows system for viruses for threats for anything any attack of any sort any malware it will 
do a thorough scan, a full system scan, and then show you a result of what it found, the potential threats. So this is what it found on my system. I'll select, I'll make sure all of them are selected. Then I'll select the option quarantine for it to quarantine all these uh, all these um, detected items. I'll select the quarantine option, and this option should quarantine and delete all those threads from this system. I'll go ahead and then close the application. And then I'll go into the add and remove programs again, and then remove the Malwarebytes anti-malware software. If you want, you can keep it on your PC and then um, do um, other scans subsequently, but I, I like to remove it. I'll click on the uninstall Malwarebytes anyway on the top, and I'll select the other option and then click on the submit and continue to remove the Malwarebytes scanner or thread scanner. I'll click on the done to remove it completely from this system. So the last thing I want to do is the disk check um, utility. How do you open? We open the disk check utility by opening command prompt as administrator, as we saw in the on the screen. You search for it in the search box, and then you right click on it and run as administrator. So in the command prompt, I'm going to type chkdsk space c colon, which is the c drive, the c volume space forward slash question mark to view the parameters the various parameters of that that comes along with the command or with the yeah with the command to check this command so i'm going to use the forward slash r which locates bug sectors and recovers readable information and then also i'm going to use the forward slash f which fixes errors on the disk so I'll scroll down and then I'll clear the command screen by typing CLS, hit enter to clear the screen. And then I'll go back to that command chkdsk space c colon space forward slash r space forward slash f and then hit enter. It will prompt you with this plenty English. All it's trying to say is that um, you are trying to um, perform a check disk um, utility or the check disk um, utility on a system volume which is currently in use which is a C drive so it cannot perform that task but it can only do it on the, at, on the next system restarts so um, it's giving us an option yes or no we will go ahead and then Press the Y on the on our keyboard to 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 tell the system to to perform the check disk um, utility at the next uh, system restart or the next system reboot. So I'll press Y and then it says the volume will be checked at the next system restarts. So we'll quickly look at that. We'll quickly um, reboot our system, we'll restart our system to look at how it performs the check this utility on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So as you can see, you can press any key within the stipulated seconds to cancel the check disk um, utility. So yes, guys, the 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 the, the check disk is is. Um, in place and it's, it's it's the utility is checking our disks for errors to fix bad sectors and this should allow your our pcs to run faster so if 
these um, steps don't fix your issue. You may have to upgrade your RAM um, to a higher spec. You might, you might, if upgrading your RAM doesn't work, you might also have to change your hard disk because these um, two um, components can also affect the speed of your computer. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, like, share this video, and I will see you guys in another video. Thank you. Bye.